We're we're at news multiply wombats uh, rainbow mama mama time. Yes, we are. You're mama. It's mama mama time. Yeah, rainbow something. Have you played any? Uh not this week. No, right, I, I'm sorry. I have too much. You know what? And this is a good time. I'll bring this up now because I picked up uh, Ghost Recon <laughs> Wildlands last week. How much? Fifteen dollars. That's pretty cheap. Yeah. Is it Wild Wildlands? That's not the name of that game, is it? No, uh, Breakpoint. Sorry. Okay. Wildlands is the older one. <laughs> sorry, like, that's a not- really that's a really quick turnaround on them making that same game again. Right. No, no, sorry, Breakpoint. I picked up Breakpoint for fifteen bucks. Okay. Exactly. I have that game still sealed. <laughs> and I want to. I, speaking of the Terminator, I did the Terminator missions. Right. And I did collected all the Terminator gear. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it was a lot easier than the Predator stuff. Than the Predator mission. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, they have these Terminators walking around, and you got to kill them. Okay. And they have the leather jacket, and the sunglasses, and the pants, but the face is not Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right. It's like, just like the oh, generic face. It's weird. Hmm. Uh, I that's, don't. Well, maybe that's because he's in Mortal Kombat. It, it might be. It might be. Maybe he only had license to do one game at a time. Maybe it's an exclusive thing. I don't know. Yeah, um, and take twenty pounds off me too while you're modeling me. Yeah, it's it's a good game. It definitely suffers from. I think they tried to do too much syndrome when they could have just made more of what made the last game better or so great, and and just you know put it in a new map. Um, Shit, remember when we waited in line for like an hour and a half to play that game? Mm-hmm. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> remember when it, the, lot, the sign lied about how long we were going to wait? Yes. And then we took a picture with the sign. Right. And then we cried. Right. And then, <laughs> we had and then, time and, to pose with that sign. And then you, you couldn't switch it to inverted aim, so I couldn't even fucking play <laughs> after all that. Like, I literally couldn't fucking shoot anything. That's all, that's all right. The majority of that demo was listening to right. a NPC talk. Yeah. And then, me, then them saying we can go wherever we want. And so I went and got in the helicopter and flew somewhere. <laughs> right. I was like, all right, so we're going to do it this way, I guess. Just off yeah, the rails. Yeah, it's like, yep, this is how we do it. Right. I'll just be here firing my gun indiscriminately <laughs> because I can't aim. I, I think it w- as waiting as long as it did was a good idea. I don't know what the game was like when it first came out, and I don't know if some of these things were there from the beginning or not, mm-hmm. but I like the idea that you don't have to go to that hub center to do everything. Like, you could visit... Your a camp, one of many campsites on the map to visit the shop, if you want to, you know, you don't find guns. You know how in the last game you would go to a like a, a there was a, loot, an, yeah, loot, yeah. and you would. I mean, you do find guns, but to find like the really good weapons, you know, you would go to the the place on the map with the gun the icon. icon on the map. It was all about just crossing icons off the map. Yeah, you go to the place on the map with the gun icon, and those mm-hmm. icons are still there. So you go to the base with the gun icon, and you open right. the chest, the gun icon chest. But instead of there being a gun in it, there's a blueprint for a gun in it. Blah. So you have to go to the campsite and open up the shop menu. And then in the shop menu, you got to select the blueprints. And then you can build your gun for a small amount of in-game currency that you collect. Why? And then there you Why go. Why not you have the chest? Why can't you just open up the chest and get a gun? I don't know. But you do collect a lot more weapons from enemies, which you didn't do in the last game. And I'm not Who quite cares, sure. though? I was going to say, I'm not quite sure what's the better way, because I kind of liked in the last game how it was where you had just this list of guns, and there were many guns, and you had them all at all times, and you right. just had one of each type, yeah. and you would put on your attachments and upgrade it you know you could upgrade it as needed and it's not like that it's like oh i have this gun and this gun is a level one gun but i'm gonna dismantle it because it's a level one gun and i have this gun that's a level 72 gun and i'm gonna take that or i could go to the shop and rebuild one of the guns from my blueprint and it's gonna be at my current level sounds like work it, it is there a, was a little bit of work like that in late game, like in the 
after game stuff. Yeah, but that was the but it was also after game stuff and a lot. Right. Of it was I wonder really... if they they thought that that's what people would want in the game as well. Then, like yeah. if that like if they they lean too far into the people who are playing this far too long. The, it also feels a little leaning towards a monetization element but even that doesn't even make that much sense because they still sold weapons so i don't know it's a little weird i do kind of like the um when you do the dress up you could do it one of two ways you could either just wear the gear that you're finding that does have that does affect your stats so you know right now you know you could have your guy kind of dressed like an idiot with all mismatched things but you know it affects your stats or you could override your appearance any way you want, but you still keep your stats. And you could just do that with a push on the D-pad. So I kind of like that at least they give you that option. I don't know if that was there from the beginning. But, uh, you know, you can make your guy look however you want. And you don't have to worry about that. Because I know that was something that I was concerned about when I played the demo. Like, do I have to just wear this stuff? But you don't. And you won't lose your stats. Stats. But- Stats, because there's a lot of that. It's a there's a lot of that. Oh, I have a new vest now, and this vest gives me uh plus seven armor as opposed to plus two armor. So I'll put this one on, and this hat is better than this beanie, which is better than this helmet or is, whatever. Is that what Avengers is going to be like? You think? I think Avengers may be a lot like this. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think that I don't think they're going to give anything away for free in Avengers. At least this is loot you find playing the game. I think Avengers, they're going to just sell everything. You don't think you'll find Captain America's socks or something? Nope. I think they're going to be like, oh, you want to look like Captain America from the comic books? That's $15. Uh, hmm? Yeah. that's Then that's going to be that. All right. 